Bismillah, Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, I'll be making basically a refutation of the problem of evil and I'll be giving a very simple reason why both versions of the argument cannot work. Let's get started. So here's a, a bit of a basic background on this. Problem of evil is one of the most common atheist arguments and it is actually similar to a lot of the other atheist arguments. There are two versions of the argument, one which attempts to show there is a logical contradiction, another version of the argument does not prove a logical contradiction but attempts to argue that there is unnecessary suffering in the world and that a good god would not have created a world like this. The logical version. So basically this version is rejected by most atheist philosophers. This is just one reference for this. So you, even if they don't take it seriously, why should I? Right? Now uh, let's go to the evidential version. This version of the argument, these are one of the common premises for this, like one way of formulating the premises. I won't read this, you can read it, but basically this uh, argues that there is unnecessary suffering and that a good God would have prevented unnecessary suffering. He hasn't prevented it, so God doesn't exist. This is the argument. So here's the basic problem. Actually, these are the basic assumptions behind the problem of evil. Unnecessary suffering is evil and if God had created a world uh, with unnecessary suffering, he cannot be all good and the reason we know that is that the same moral criteria that applies to humans applies to God as well. And there is a second assumption that there is unnecessary suffering. I am dealing with the evidential version here just but the point I am making will apply to both arguments. Here is the problem with this. The premise one of the argument that is that if God is good, there would not be any unnecessary suffering. The assumption here is that the same moral criteria that applies to humans applies to God as well. Right? There is no evidence for this. This is just an intuition. Atheists will generally pretend to take the position that, uh, that intuitions are evidence except when intuitions refute their positions. These assumptions, uh, the specifically the assumption that the same moral criteria that applies to humans applies to God as well can actually be proven wrong and I have other videos on that I won't focus on this because that's not the point of this video there are other issues as well but I will keep the focus on a specific point the atheist just justification for all of those assumptions right and most of their arguments is that these are intuitions and that intuitions are true until prover Otherwise, intuition is basically a natural belief we have that we don't reason to, that just an instinct, that's an instinctual belief, that is what an intuition is. The problem for the atheists is that the belief in God is intuitive as well, belief in life after death is intuitive as well, belief in life being designed is intuitive as well, premise one of the kalam is intuitive as well principle of sufficient reason is intuitive uh, as well and many beliefs like these that atheists reject are intuitive as well. So <laughs> they are trying to have their cake and eat it as well here. The atheists will try to claim that even though belief in God is intuitive although some will try to deny that belief in God is intuitive I'll give a reference for this later but they will claim that even if belief in God is intuitive it is uh, the problem of evil refutes that belief in God. This does not work. It cannot even work in principle and there is a very simple reason for this. This is a reference for belief in God being intuitive. There are numerous other references like this from mainstream psychologists and I will make a video on this soon inshallah. So let's go back to the problem. The biggest problem for this argument. The reason Atheists will try to give uh, the problem here is that they will try atheists will try to claim that problem of evil is a refu refutation against God, right? The problem is that there are two sets of intuitions that contradict each other. The intuitions about a belief in God and the intuitions behind problem of evil. Both cannot be correct at the same time, right? That sort of contradiction is two contradictory things that cannot be correct at the same time. They are claiming that problem of evil is a refutation against God, right? And the problem with this is, and that there is a contradiction here, this is why it refutes God. But just because both of these intuitions cannot be correct at the same time, that does not mean you can cherry pick one set of intuitions and claim they are correct. Right? There needs to be some justification other than intuitions. Again, 
think about this the atheist reasoning behind their argument is the problem of evil basically refute scott but and the justification of that that is the intuitions behind it right but we have two intuitions intuitions about god and intuitions behind problem of evil they cannot be correct at the same time both cannot be correct but just because both cannot be correct it doesn't mean you can cherry pick which one is right which one is wrong you would have to have other evidence other than intuition to see which one is right and which one is wrong the issue for the problem of evil is that there is no justification other than intuition literally there is no justification other than intuition in this regard this is why this can never be an argument against god because the entire issue is we have two sets of contradictory intuitions right intuitions behind god and intuitions behind problem of evil although both cannot be correct at the same time doesn't mean you can pick which one is correct and which one is wrong the entire justification for the atheist argument is intuition but belief in god is intuitive as well and there is nothing for problem of evil other than intuition then this argument is dead because if the only justification is intuition and it is the only justification intuition also shows there is a belief in god this is why this argument cannot even work in principle i hope you have enjoyed this video and please do think about this topic because to be honest this is actually quite an amazing refutation of problem of evil and it's extremely simple till next time assalam alaikum